ain't gonna focus. Yeah. Welcome to the side by side. Again, got my phone out so I don't go wrong. Um, yes, I am a Gymshark noob. And by noob, I mean enthusiast. I have the new trackies. Wait, let me show you. I have the new Gymshark trackies. They are amazing. The fit is great. Uh, I got a large. I'm six foot one, so. If you can use that reference, go ahead. This is also a large, this is the new uh, purple and grey fit hoodies. They fit real nice. Cling. Maybe a tiny bit too short, but that's the way I like it, because I like to do this quite a lot anyway. Right, on to the side by side. First up, front squats. With the front squats, we want to keep our elbows nice and high. I haven't got the flexibility to do this and the flexibility in my wrists and my shoulders, so I just go across like this and rest it almost across the upper chest, front delts, uh, elbows nice and high, we keep our lower backs nice and tight and in, chest out, all the way down, all the way up, this just really puts a lot of focus on the quads, uh, it is a full leg movement but more focus on the quads, uh, one of my favourite movements but a seriously, seriously taxing movement, so the weight doesn't go as high and my core is burning. Uh, second movement, went for a wide grip bench press. Uh, I like to do, well I've just recently introduced chest onto my leg day, so I just hit a bit more stimulus of the chest per week, so I think I end up hitting my chest three or four times a week, just to really try to build that and bring it out. Uh, wide grip press, it is what it is, elbows in, come down nice and slow, push up really hard, pretty straightforward. Next up, leg extensions. Uh, and also guys, with all of these sets, we're going as hard as we can, so the final rep, you know, I should have had a spot for some of them, but for the final rep, I didn't today, I didn't on this day, so for the final rep, it is just failure, like, it's your last rep, you don't, you, if you went back down, you're not going to come back up, that's what I'm aiming for here. So the leg extensions, I put the full stack on, and I just went for 10 reps, the 10th rep, as you can see, is pretty, pretty hard. Um, next up, moved on to standing calf raises, nice and slow on the eccentric movement. The eccentric movement is the, is the um, hang on, let me explain this, the eccentric part of the movement is, uh, the relaxation period, oh, no, it's not the contraction, it's the opposite. So, eccentric on a bench press is when you're coming back down, the concentric is when you're coming up. So you have a nice, slow, concentric, no, fuck. <laughs> we have a nice, slow, eccentric on the calves and a nice, fast, concentric when we come up, which is the extension, the contraction. Uh, then we moved on to cable flies, that's just to hit the lower part of the pec. Uh, again, really heavy. Uh, heavier than my normal chest days, so it's a good thing that I do this because I like to go heavy on different things. Don't normally go heavy on cables, so why not? Uh, pretty straightforward, scapulas retracted, that is your shoulder blades retracted, chest out, back in. We come down on the arc and we really squeeze in at the bottom of the chest when we're coming down. Uh, what was next? After the cables, we went on to ha lying hamstring curls. Uh, really squeeze, like I really, really feel the squeeze on these and I love lying hamstring curls because I just pull with my heels and you just hit that top part of the hamstring. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video, um, for this workout. It was five sets for the first two exercises, four sets for the second two, three sets for the, for the final two, no, four sets for the final two, so it's five sets, four sets, four sets on the two exercises. And then also there were there were there were more calf raises that I did just on the seated machine, but I didn't get these on camera because I was just I was spent by this time. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of volume, guys, but I do this workout th three times a week, two or three times a week, depending on uh, where I start it during the cycle. Uh, so less volume, more frequency allows me to hit my body parts more often, uh, and I just go all out in these sets, guys, completely all out. So it's not like I can do drop sets and drop sets and drop sets. I just put it all into one set, that's it. Next set, all into one set, and that's it. And I just do this lots and lots of times throughout the week, and I really feel like I'm going to grow, even though I'm in a deficit, because I already feel bigger. I'm not, well, I was probably a mental trick and a mental thing, but I do feel good for it. Right. Like, comment, subscribe.